The University Park has been voted one of the most beautiful in the world by the Huffington Post and is actually less than 10 minutes from the center of Aarhus. Designed by the Danish architect C.F. Müller, the first building was completed in 1933. Many students use the lush green park as a place to relax between classes or to take their studies outdoors. Right here is where the famous boat race takes place every year in late spring. The event is one of the biggest student-led events in Europe and attracts more than 25,000 students. In the notable boat race, the different student clubs raced against each other for a chance to win the golden bedpan. Yep, I said the golden bedpan. <laughs> These are the student dorms located inside the University Park. These dorms are rare as most of the other university dorms are scattered around the city of Aarhus, so most students find themselves living off campus. Though these on-campus dorms don't have meal plans, they do have spacious kitchens that are shared amongst the dorm residents, making it super easy to cook and share meals with your dorm mates. This dorm right here had a very famous resident at one point. The Danish Queen Margrethe II actually lived here while she was studying at Aarhus University. This building is the Skoe Building and is the newest building in the University Park. It was named after one of the university's Nobel laureates, Jens Christian Sko, who received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1997. This building was inaugurated on the 8th of October in 2018, when Jens Christian Sko would have turned 100 years old, only a few months after he passed away earlier that same year. Now, his legacy and memory can be appreciated with every student that enters the Sko building. The Danish Royal Library is the main university library. It holds a copy of everything that's ever been published in Denmark and also contains subscriptions to many international newspapers and journals. Inside the Royal Library, you can find much more than books. The basement of the book tower has a relaxed area with a ping pong table, a foosball table, and massage chairs. Above is the library garden an indoor green space that brings nature indoors and serves as a great space to relax when the weather outside might not be as cozy. The Dale T. Moltensen Building is named after one of the university's Nobel laureates, Dale T. Moltensen, who received the Nobel Prize in Economics in 2010. It holds the AU Housing Office and the International Office, where most international students go to check in when they first arrive in Denmark or if they need any help with practicalities during their stay. A few kilometers from the main university campus is the BSS campus, where students studying business will spend most of their time. Besides classrooms and auditoriums, the BSS campus has a library, multiple canteens, several places to study, and the famous student bar Klubin, which has been the place to meet for business students in Aarhus for more than 50 years. The S building is the newest building and contains both a canteen ample study spaces for group work, and is also a place where many big events are hosted, such as the Aarhus Symposium, which happens every year in November. The IT city at Katlinabea is situated a few blocks from the University Park. 
Here, you will find the research and teaching facilities within media and information science, computer science, and electronic and computer engineering. Also located in the IT city are several IT companies and startups. Google is just one of the many companies that house their development departments here. Just across the University Park, you will find Nobel Park, the area where a majority of the arts programs are located. The Nobel Park has a canteen, classrooms, auditoriums, a library, and study places for both group work and thesis preparation and writing. The Nobel Park is also where most of the AU Summer University takes place in between the spring and fall semesters. Situated on the harbor of Aarhus is Navitas. This is where students within mechanical and civil engineering are placed in the same buildings as technology companies, new startups, and researchers within the area. Navitas boasts extensive research facilities that are available to students, and the area also has its own canteen with an amazing view of the harbor and surrounding areas. A few kilometers south of Aarhus is the internationally recognized museum, Musco. This famous museum is also home to programs within archaeology and anthropology at Aarhus University.